Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Kenji. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to record something else, but today I already prepared for this episode by actually finishing all of the equipment and I also finished the tour we started in the previous episode. What we found there was a lost library. I'm gonna show you some footage. I found a couple of spiders there, but it wasn't too exciting to actually remain there. I wanted to prepare for today's episode where we're gonna take our guys out one more time. This time we're gonna be much better off because especially our archers are now fully equipped. You can see they all have bolts, they have the spring bat. We can of course get better weapons eventually, but everyone basically has a full equipment. For the DPS, I wanted to try out something else, so I made them a pole arm class weapon. This actually gives us some attack bonus, but also more damage versus animals. What I would like to explore today is actually the Fogland territory. I think we can have a couple of nice fights over there. I'm not in the mood to fight animals today, I want to fight something serious. Oh, I totally remember, I also made this specialist Hiver Jane shirt, and I think I wanted to give that to, let me see... Ah, probably to my tour boys here, Bjork and Axel. Anyhow, Nathan, you need to pick up some food. We need to take enough with us so that we can keep our guys happy. And I think I'm just gonna go with the food cubes in this case. Bjork, take the shirt. Finally, I got something for you. Oh, by the way, for today's episode, I enabled the shadows just to see how it feels like. It might be a little bit more laggy today. <laughs> Did you see this guy get up and being shot right away? Time to load up my bolts with all the excess materials and then we're gonna leave. And Nathan, he put the food back again. I just hate you. I hate you sometimes. He also put back the med packs like a stupid idiot. Et voila, we are on our merry way. Let's hope we're not being raided by something really dangerous. Actually, the next raid seems to be in four days and at the moment we only have a materials trader. However, I saw some numbers here. What's going on? Somebody took damage, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, let's not think about it. Yeah, this is uh, definitely gonna be a long journey. Holy Moses. Let's uh, sell our stuff in stack first. And then I guess we're gonna go along the roads here and enter the fog area right there. I'm not familiar with the territory. All I want is a couple of interesting fights. I already sold everything. I also purchased a whole bunch more food. Just because it feels like at the moment that's the wisest thing I can use my money for. Ew, we have a couple more bulls here. Should we attack them? No. It's actually dogs. I'm not gonna bother with them. Well, actually, never mind. I have to bother with them. My people decided to go through them. Attack all! This should be a quick win, hopefully. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is devastating. It's good meat. I I'm not gonna complain. Nah, we can already see the fog area in the distance. I'm actually kind of excited. The previous time, in the first season I did, that was actually the end for us. Oh, I just got ambushed and I did not realize that it's a cannibal. Oh no, cannibals. <laughs> well, at least they are super weak, so they shouldn't be an issue for us. I don't think I even need to do a strategy for this. Let's just attack all and see what happens here. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so sorry. This is almost embarrassing. Why were they so suicidal? Also, look at that. They've got nothing. This is actually like body paint or so. Ah, they actually had their little camp here. Cool, and oh no, these guys are wounded. Maybe we can save them. Wait, 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 pause. Hello guys, do you need some help? Maybe you do. Oh, we just got in combat now. And Marco picked up a dog. Put that thing down. Actually, a couple of my guys did because I forgot to disable the jobs. Oh, there's actually the last cannibal here. I didn't know a couple of them survived. See if we can uh, release this guy. There we go, success, and he just runs away. I was kind of thinking about bringing a couple of Fogmen back, because of the mod we can actually also recruit them. So you know, they could be like our future worker force. Ah, Fog Islands, very interesting. Spooky, I have to say. In our case, I think the best thing is to go around and then we're gonna approach Mongrel through the roadway here. Hold the phone, where is the rest? Ah, there we go. What are we fighting? Just bandits. Wow, we're gonna get so much training, guys. This is gonna be a truly epic episode in terms of progress. You have to excuse my voice, I just came back from a day of work. If you don't know, I'm a music teacher mostly. So I do sing a lot during the day and combined with my winter sickness at the moment, it's just not going very well. Oh, okay, we got our first Fogman in the joint. They actually also don't look very dangerous. Yeah, I think we can take them all. Attack all, please. 
and we didn't even get far. So these guys we could now theoretically pick up, but I think I'm gonna grab a bunch of them when I decide to come back. Right now it's too early. Yeah, look at that. They actually come in really big groups. This is nice. I love this. Yeah, I think I can do this pretty fa- Wow, I can do this incredibly fast. How did I get killed by them in the first season? You're not getting away. We have archers. I love how their blood is green. <laughs> not even five seconds I could run without another group attacking me. But I take it. I take the free training. This is what we have been looking for. Oh yeah, my archers are actually now hitting the animals, which means they're gonna train their perception a lot more. And everyone they hit is gonna train toughness. So despite the fact that it is not optimal, it's the way to train. To spice things up, we have a bunch of holy nation outlaws, but they do not want us any harm. So on we go into the unknown. Yes. Ooh, okay, so here we have an angry bunch of fogmen. Yeah, I can imagine if you're only five people or so, this might actually be hard. But I guess this right here is uh, no issue at all. Let's just go ahead and yeah, <laughs> he's running away again. I would too. Attack all guys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man. Oh, these guys have white skin. Now I know what you meant with uh, they are color coded. Holy cow, look at that. This is insanity. And now they're all coming from there. Wait, guys, uh, stick together. Come on, Rusty, do some kung fu. Yeah, right in the head. Did you see that? Oh, I love it. Rusty, what are you doing? Do you really have time for this right now? More and more fogmen are coming. This is so much better than dummy training. Now, I wonder, sometimes they actually have, like, leaders of some sorts. I think I just remembered that. Ooh, what is this? Maybe this is a tribe, because they are hanging out here. It's not just the patrol. So, does someone look special here? It actually counts as a town. Look at that, patrolling town. Hello, guys. Are you interested in a little fight? <laughs> Nathan just kicked that dude directly in the face. Like, two toes directly in the eye. Atomiston, are you sure you want to do that? Well, they got pretty good armor now, the DPS, so they still got bad damage because they are training new weapons that they don't know. Atomiston, actually, why do you have such a weapon? Let me see. Ah, okay, so this is the right weapon. I thought they would use it differently. Uh, did we take care of them? No, oh, there's still a fight going on here. They are so weak, I don't even focus anymore. Fog heavy. Let me actually see. Can I uh, risk? Come on, loot this guy. Do we have a head on this? No, but they have like better weapons already. Ah, fog prints. Okay, we found this bastard. There we go. Nathan, uh, loot this guy. Yes, fog prints head. 6,000. Also, well, a bad ninja blade. So give me my sneak back here and uh, we can sell this afterwards. Pretty good. That's what I've been looking for. Well, let me tell you, you have to be prepared to actually get to Mongrel. I mean, this has to be an incredible city. How are people holding up there? I'm not sure what is gonna await us here, so I think I'm just gonna let my people wait around there. Maybe heal up a little bit, and Nathan is gonna check out the town. Ah, look at that, the Shinobis! I did not expect that. And this is actually a thief's watchtower, so that means we can enter this building because we are, like, friendly with these guys. And we could train on these assassination dummies, just like in the hub. Uh, give me food cubes, bread, give me everything, please. In terms of recruitment, we have sun, maybe. There is horse, what a name. Ooh, 7,500. Not bad, let's uh, buy this guy. We're gonna rename you to Chostar, the next name on my list. Welcome to the party. Horse, show me what you've got. This is also a vendor. Okay, well, the shinobi thieves, I guess. That's just who they are. Chostar is gonna join the group in the meantime, and Nathan, where are you? I think there was a shop open. Chostar, why aren't you listening? Nathan, check out this shop. What have we got? Hello? Yes, we also have really high-grade legs and arms right here. So we need to remember this place as well. Shrike, stranded in this dead-end town. Oh, no, no, no. Then allow me to drag you out of here with me. Shrike, come on, join the party. There we go. Yet another person. Of course, we will have to rename her. And the name is gonna be Fran, from the looks of it. That is the next name I have as a female name. Crumble John, an old man from the looks of it, uh, let's just ask him to join our squad. I mean, we need 200 people, so we cannot be picky. <laughs> Fine, I'll join your stupid squad, because I asked him like a hundred times. And we have a bar fight going on. Oh no, it's against the Fogman. How did they get here even? 
Maybe in this place right here, we're gonna find really good crossbows. I think I do remember that being mentioned in the comment section as well. I have to check again. It might be a different city though. Just to be sure, let's check home and then we are gonna skip until the next day. Oh, it's also pretty foggy here. Oh, this guy's actually crippled and his speed must be really slow. Yeah, he's like one miles per hour. But I guess uh, let's just go ahead and attack this guy. Snow is taking over the job in order to train his <laughs> iron club skill a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit mean. Ah, uh, look at that. It does look more beautiful with the shadows, of course. It's a little bit weird how the shadows move, so that is less immersive. But the pictures you get from it are better. People told me about this guy, Beep. Now, I'm supposed to keep his name as Beep because of the text he says. So maybe let's just uh, talk to him. Ooh, hi, Beep. How, how, how do you know my name? It was just a guess. Oh, he wants nothing to join us. Well, of course he can join. Of course, Beep. Aha, look at that. Eagle Cross. You also told me which one is the best bow. Maybe I recognize it if I see it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through the comments again. Well, I'm gonna try to remember that. For the time being, I'm happy with the damage my guys do. I need to train them up a little bit more anyways. So I don't think they're ready for this yet. A couple of recipes I could get at the clothing guy, but nothing too interesting. Ah, ninja blades. Now I can actually craft them myself. Also, short cleaver. I didn't have that yet. Okay, I can see. Even the city is being overrun by these fogmen the entire time. This is kind of insane. I'm tempted to go directly through the fog here and kind of explore into this direction. Maybe go towards this ruin and hopefully discover a little bit more. Alright guys, we are back and as promised, I actually made it all the way to the ruins right here in the obedience location. And it is an ancient lapse. What I would like to try now is take all of my tanks, also Armitage. Wait, where is Armitage? Did I never take him with me? Oh no, I had no idea. Yeah, the strategy is really not clear to them. This is uh, quite annoying, I have to say. But there we go. Maybe I'm just gonna tell everyone else to remain here. We're just gonna take our archers and our tanks with us. That is actually what I want to do. But right now, we're gonna take care of this guy together. So all of you guys, you should be holding your position and be passive for the time being. And you, you come with me. So now I can have all of my tanks in the front and the archers in the back. And we should easily be able to deal with the situation. Ah, there we go. Knight is actually going in. So let's make sure the archers... Uh, are they trying to shoot through the wall? That is not a good idea. You go here. Probably better. And there we go. We're tanking brilliantly. And we also have a bunch of people that can heal with us. Wow, this machine is pretty aggressive, I have to say. Let's grab our archers and bring them approximately here. And these guys are gonna go in. There we go. Uh, attack this guy first. These archers, please come in. And then Alex and Knight, you're going to grab the other spider. Yes, yes, yes. We just need to take the aggro off. And then hopefully the archers are gonna help out a little bit. Maybe I should have taken some of the DPS with me, actually. It's actually our tanks that have more damage versus robots. Time to move up to floor number two. We got an enemy right there. Let's see if we can take this guy on. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, it's actually already dead. I love it. Great, we cleared the entire place. I would say I'm gonna bring everyone back here and Nathan and maybe an animal. Let's take Bully with us. They're gonna come back and loot the entire place. Oh yes, right here we will find the precious stuff. And I can also train up my lockpicking, which is minus two? No, not really. Nathan, it is 57. That's what I'm talking about. Science books and CPU units, which are worth quite a bit. Also the power core, so bully, take that stuff. Last container, what will we get? Ooh, actually that was quite worth it. I did not expect that. Yes, we take all those power core, robotic components, 2800, copper alloy plates, I guess we can make these eventually. So lots of money and approximately four science books. Now, this area is actually pretty interesting, not because it is dangerous, but because there are tons of giant robot arms. And I think I've seen a head or two as well. So where should we go next? My suggestion is actually to check out all of these ruins and see if I missed something because a lot of the stuff I couldn't do 
as there were too many enemies. Alrighty, this is the first place here. Empty ruins. I don't think we need to stay here. I'm just gonna go straight to the next one, which is in this direction. So I guess it might be this place here. I think we actually got away without a fight, so that is good. And here we find the ruins. I'm pretty sure I already emptied that, but just to be sure, I'm gonna check. Uh, oh, hold on. This is not empty. Not at all. Intriguing. Okay, more science books then. Ah, I totally missed this ruined tower. I thought I was only here, but we are in the ancient lab, so then that was to be expected. We're gonna clean this out just like the previous one. So you guys, passive, hold, and you're just gonna remain here. Clear. And I'm gonna finish this ancient lab with my five samurai tanks. There we go, we're in. And they're all coming, all three at once. Okay, that's intriguing. Let's uh, maybe focus on one at a time. Or no, that doesn't make sense since we only have one attack slot. So we should fight against all three. Marco, you are also gonna take that. Fireheart and Knight, you're gonna fight against the first one. Should be no problem, we already got one down. And we're only taking minimal damage. I love it. Two and three down, perfect. Lars, make sure you steal something, throw it out again, just to kill them. We're gonna do the same thing with the second floor. Also three robots, intriguing, there are plenty of them here. Maybe there are none on the last floor, but there we go. They actually distributed themselves evenly without me doing anything. I like it when the combat pans out somehow. Ooh, Fireheart actually got unconscious. Okay, so he got hit quite heavily there. Yeah, it's just Fireheart. The others can take one more fight, I think. So we're gonna leave Fireheart on the ground for the time being. Let's check the top floor. There's one, two. That was a little bit of a harder lap than usual. Come on, guys. Y just finish it. Just freaking finish it right now on the phone. Wow. This thing is uh, quite a bitch, I have to say. It took out Alex. Not bad, not bad. Five samurai guys were able to take it out and they are not even all trained that well. Good, so these guys are alright. Let's check downstairs. Fireheart, how long are you still gonna be unconscious for? Well, actually for a while because you are in a coma. Anyways, I'm gonna bring them out again. Uh, same thing, we're gonna go in with Bully and Nathan and loot this place. Wow, that was actually six science books in this one. The skeleton repair kits, I usually ignore them, but they are humongously expensive. So come aboard. Time to continue to the Fallen Tower and Leaning Tower. I don't think we will find anything here. Empty ruins, probably also not. But Burns Tower, seems uh, we didn't do that. And of course also the Suspicious Labs, because there we will find the cannibals. So we have fun times ahead of us, I would say. There's one spider. I'm just gonna fight that. Attack target. Everyone, just just kill it. Shouldn't be an issue, right? Oh, man, it may be an issue. No, there we go. It's down. Fallen Tower and Leaning Tower. I already missed them. This was the Leaning Tower here. There was nothing interesting here. The door was unlocked. I was just able to go in and I don't think there was something worth getting. So we're gonna proceed to the Burns Tower, which should be this one over there. Let's do this. What is happening, guys? Something is attacking us. Ah, whoa. The skeleton! I had no idea! Oh my gosh, this is not good. Everyone, fight back! It's incredible. But but now we are gonna corner him. Yeah, there we go. Even though we only have one attack slot, of course we are giving him not a lot of opportunities to strike now. Wow, this was insane. Let me see what you got. Skeleton repair kit and a fragment axe, which is actually really bad. Though we might be able to get this guy for our cause. What do you say? I would say everyone get out of the way, first of all, and then Nathan, you're gonna uh, repair this guy. Ah, oh, poor Crumble John. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait a little bit. No, Marco is taking care of you. Come on, we have to uh, fix him up before he reboots. Uh, we might not be able to... No, he's... Di oh, he was almost dying there. I think we might have to pick him up before we do anything else. Let's take Atomiston to do that. You're going to pick this guy up. And Nathan is gonna fix him while he's on your shoulder. So he's not gonna get away. Marco, can you pick up Crumble John for the time being? And I guess uh, then we can continue. Soon we will have to recover. But let's check out this tower. This doesn't look dangerous. Let's have a quick sneak peek with Nathan. Just wanna know what's here. Uh, nothing that I immediately want. Well, you know, we can make some money here. Upstairs we have even more useless junk, but I guess I have to check all the barrels. 
Oh, it's actually pretty good. More skeleton repair kits, but also a uh, samurai boot specialist grade. I guess it's always worth selling. I'd rather make my own, to be honest. Ah, finally, we got a small chest here with... Oh, darn it. Steel bars. Don't need that. This is worth a thousand here. Taking that. Time to continue our journey. Next stop, the suspicious lab. Ah, I guess I've uh, already had better ideas in my life. The way to the suspicious lab is suspiciously complicated. The valley right here actually leading up is pretty safe, I have to say. I feel pretty good about this. And here we are, oh yes. Here I did have quite a bit of fun with the cannibals with Nathan. Of course, I didn't kill too many. I was all alone and afterwards I had to flee. But still, it was fun to discover. Ah, there is the building actually, it just popped in. And look at all the drones here. Fortunately enough, they seem to be only decoration. I wonder if we should take the cannibals and make them work on the fields. Wow, look at that. This is amazing. I love it. I need to take this for a screenshot at some point, but it's not fitting for today's episode. Anyways, our last deed for today is going to be to take out the cannibal lair. Now, we are going to be attacked in a couple of hours. Let me see, about eight hours, so they might take 12 hours to get to us. Sometimes they are a little bit faster, but we will have to probably actively defend this because they will get through the gate and we will have to defend it without our active warrior squad being here. Fortunately enough, Armitage is here. He actually wandered all the way up to the place we were before, uh, the ancient labs right there. Because I misclicked. Apparently I had him selected and I ordered the group to go here. So he decided to travel all the way here. And I realized it only when he was here. So now I got him back home <laughs> and he can help defend the base. I do not want to manage both fights at the same time. So we do only have uh, the 8 hours to actually clear this. But I think we will be able to do it. Let's just wake up everyone. There you go. Just want to see. Can I get... Oh, I can actually also get in here. So let's check what we find. Nothing here. Okay, this is perfect. So first floor is safe, but the second floor... Aha, there we go. So here we have a whole bunch of cannibals. We also have beds. Maybe we will be able to use them. There are actually substantially less cannibals than the previous time. I'm not sure where they went, but they have a bunch of people caged up here, maybe. No, at the moment, nobody. But if we get caught, they will cage us up here. Ah, now we can actually also see it lit up. So there are quite a bunch. There must be like... 20 or so. No, it's more like 15 if I count. You know what, let's go in with our tanks, except Armitage of course, Lars Fireheart and also our DPS guys here. They are gonna go in first and they're gonna start in the middle of the room and then my archers are gonna come in second and they're gonna start shooting from here. Let's see how that works out. There we go, they're running upstairs, holy cow. Everyone is coming at the same time and of course my archers were first. I did not anticipate this, but there we go. The other people should be taking over. Let's make sure we attack a bunch of these. Where are they running? Oh, wow. We actually take them out pretty quickly. Oh, I'm not sure this is right. This does not look right. But it actually looks as though this is gonna be pretty easy. Of course, I did not stand a chance with Nathan only. The numbers were just overwhelming. So let's make sure Nathan is taking care of the cannibals instead. We want to first aid this cannibal first of all and also loot it maybe. Yeah, she's dying at the moment. Come on Nathan, do this quicker. Are we actually already healed up? I think everyone is healed up. So maybe I get them out of the way so the medics can take care of the cannibals. Maybe let's loot this guy here and then first aid you. Alex, perfect timing. You need to pick up this cannibal. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna be right back as soon as I finish this. Actually, the top floor does have some loot and we found a scout leg specialist grade. So I almost want to tear a guy's leg off right now. But let's wait with that. Hey, voila, the mother load I wanted to say, but unfortunately we only have a very few specialist or master grade. So I guess I'm only gonna take them in order to sell them. Alright guys, there we go. Completely looted and look at all the guys we got. The cannibal farmers. Oh man, how many do we have? Eight. Uh, there is the skeleton. Do we have nine or ten? Hmm. I mean, eight farmers should theoretically be enough. I was hoping for more. I wonder where the other bodies went. Oh, actually they are downstairs. Oh, 
No, unfortunately, they are already dead. It's too late for them. <laughs> uh, that's too unfortunate. Oh, this guy's critical. It would be great to get 10 guys. If we could get two more, I'd be happy. So, Nathan, you have to immediately save this guy. So, go ahead and loot him. And now, heal like you've never healed before. Rusty, you're gonna do the same with this guy. He's just dying. We can save him. Limb trauma. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, they can recover from that, probably. And then the other guy's kind of uh, chilling out here. Also recovering trauma, which is perfect. So who is not carrying anyone? Probably Ebas. So you're going to pick up this cannibal. Good. That makes nine cannibals. And last but not least, the last guy right here, which makes ten cannibals. Cool. So I got my goal. Hopefully we can uh, convert them all to our cause. Those are going to be my final farmers, and that means... My own farmers can actually relax a little bit. But yeah, guys, I think at this point we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.